Hi everyone, I'm Krista Del Camp. And I'm Rachel Keller. Hope you enjoyed the Patriots game. We will head back out live to MetLife Stadium in just a few minutes. But first, a story 25 Investigates has been working on for weeks. It involves the Sandra Birchmore murder investigation, so let's get right to it. I'm investigative reporter Ted Daniel. Former Stoughton police officer Matthew Farwell remains in federal custody charged with killing Sandra Birchmore. State police initially ruled her death a suicide. 25 Investigates is looking back and at a different cop Birchmore knew named Joshua Heal. We have a recording that was never supposed to be made public. And how she was failed by, manipulated by, and used by people of authority. When Stoughton police revealed that three of their officers had troubling relationships with Sandra Birchmore, the name of an Abington cop also surfaced. Josh Heal previously worked for Stoughton's Animal Control. The deputy told me that Heal and the deceased woman were friends and that they had texted quite frequently, I believe it was daily. There was a lot of digital information, he said, and he was hoping that Josh would help him connect the dots. Can you guys just identify yourselves for the recording? 25 Investigates has obtained a recording of then Abington Police Chief David Del Papa in a formal interview with a town attorney. Del Papa says he was told in December 2021 that Josh Hill was a witness in Stoughton's probe. Here he describes getting new information three months later. Birchmore was known to several members of the department as having mental health issues. Sandra had uh, disclosed uh, details about her relationships with other members of the department to Josh in explicit detail. And according to Del Papa, he also had a sexual encounter with Birchmore. The deputy chief had disclosed to me that he had received a oral sex from a woman and I basically told him that it happened off duty and extramarital affairs on any of my business. And this is a guy who was working at schools at the time. That's right, Josh Heal was an Abington school resource officer and police comfort dog handler. Kirk Minahan reported extensively on Birchmore and Heal in season two of his podcast called The Case. It seems to me minute one, you find out, you put this guy on leave until you figure your stuff out. And if, and if he's exonerated, fine, back to work. Uh, but of course he wasn't exonerated. Heal continued to work in the schools for another six months until the day after Del Papa learned that Heal's name had been mistakenly left unredacted in a report that was going to be shared with the media. They wanted to give us a heads up because it was going to be a disaster. So um, I got off the phone. I called uh, Josh in and told him uh, you're on admin leave. Uh, at that point, I still didn't know the full breadth of Stone's investigation as far as uh, one of the officers having uh, relations with this woman when she was underage and the grooming and all that. We ask Abington Town Manager Scott Lambiasi if he should have been taken out of the schools sooner based on what Del Papa did know. You know, as a um, police officer and a member of a union, um, civil service, uh, there's, there's steps that you have to go through before you can actually put somebody on administrative leave or begin an investigation. Um, but I believe that once we actually knew the full depth and, and confirmation on what had actually happened, we acted pretty quickly. He'll remained on paid leave until he resigned in early 2023. In a statement, Heal's attorney tells 25 investigates Heal is a material witness and Mr. Heal has not now, has not been ever, and is not going to be the target of any criminal charges in the future because he has not broken any laws. Del Papa stepped down in May 2024 in what the town describes as a mutual separation. Abington hired an outside investigator that concluded Del Papa was professional and diligent in his handling of heel. Del Papa tells us what happened to Birchmore is an absolute tragedy. He says, given the very limited information, my response was appropriate to what I knew at the time. Kirk Minahan sees it differently. The buck was passed a lot of times. I think Del Papa should own up for his failures in this entire situation. Days before Del Papa placed Heal on leave, he learned that Heal had texted, quote, graphic and filthy things with Birchmore while on duty. Del Papa also became aware that Heal created an unauthorized Instagram account named after his police comfort dog. Heal no longer works as a police officer. For 25 Investigates, I'm Ted Daniel.